Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be a very fun video covering eight different Korean beauty skincare products. The game plan for today's video is I am going to be sharing with you some brand new K-Beauty releases and I'm also going to update you on some products that I've hauled in the past. You all have said you would like to hear how they've been going and I will do that in today's video. I might also have some bad news about some products. <laughs> But hopefully it's overall a fun video for you all to watch. I did purchase the vast majority of products you're going to see in this video, but I did receive these two in PR and this Peslo product right here as my Yes Style monthly free gift. Let's go ahead and get into today's routine. We are going to be starting with the Tony Moly I'm Rice Exfoliating Enzyme Cleanser. Okay. I have a complicated relationship with Tony Moly as a lot of their products do have kind of a lot of different fragrance ingredients and it can be tricky on my skin type to incorporate at least a lot of fragrance into my routine. However, I'm about to shock and floor you when I put up the ingredients list on this product right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. That's all that's in this product. I saw some of the reviews calling this a dupe for products like the Tatcha exfoliating powder, the Dermalogica powder. Who else has exfoliating powders? Amore, Amore Pacific. Hopefully you can see it is just indeed a powder and the way that this works, just like with those other products I talked about, is you add a little bit of water to it, create your own consistency for a cleanser and the formula itself contains some enzyme ingredients to give you some extra exfoliation. All right, can you all, you can definitely, okay, for once I've actually captured how foaming a product is, but let's go for it. Let's cleanse this face off. I am going to just go off camera to rinse it. And again, enzymatic exfoliation is chemical exfoliation, but from a different approach. It is definitely a little bit more gentle, especially on my skin type. I have to be cautious with AHA ingredients, and yet enzymes typically go pretty well for my skin. So I rinsed and I'm back and I've just got to say, I don't understand how this product category works so well for me. It doesn't feel stripping. It feels gentle. You're still getting the benefits of, again, that uh, chemical exfoliation through enzyme ingredients, which is papaya enzymes in this product. Super short ingredients list, fragrance free and $13. This is amazing. Again, I haven't used this long term. This is a, a bit of a newer product to my collection, but I will be sticking with this and I'll see if over a longer period of time, if I feel like it's truly a dupe for products like the Dermalogica. Right now I'm suspecting, I'm suspecting I will feel that. And quick side note that I've just got to say, so I went to clip my hair back the way I always do, which is kind of that, the quick wrap in a circle and you just stick the clips in. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get my hair to fit. <laughs> so it's got to be kind of this, this much more floppy style here. Uh, yeah, my hair is a whole lot thicker. And I think it's so funny because the only thing that I changed is I dyed my hair. But you know, when you bleach your hair, you're stripping each individual strand of color. So then when you use something like this, this is a vegan dye. When you put that on your hair, it thickens it right back up. Isn't that so interesting? But it's wild for me. I'm so used to super thin hair. It is a lot thicker right now. Anyway, let's move on to more Korean skincare products. So I wanted to use the Pyongkang Yule Mist Toner today. I hauled this one a while ago. I've been trying it out and... I like it, but I think I like it because I always like mists. I always like mists. I was looking at the ingredients with this one and thinking, you know, well, first of all, this one is geared more towards oily skin, whereas the essence toner is intended for dry skin, which would be my skin type. So uh, I think that it's just not quite as big of a, a hit for me personally. I love how simple and straightforward it is. I think this is going to work for the vast majority of people, but at the same time, I don't think I'll repurchase this because I think I, you know what it is? I think I like products that have a little bit more going on, especially in terms of soothing, helping with repair, because you know, my skin isn't just dry. I also do deal with acne. So I think that 
I think I crave a bit more in my products. Does that mean it's a bad product? Not at all. I think it's a very well done product, will be incredible for people who, you know, have less skin concerns than I do. But let's move on to a product where I don't feel so neutral. In fact, I feel very much in love. The Misha Time Revolution Artemisia Treatment Essence, one of the most recommended products by all of you to me. And oh my goodness, again, I always tell you all this because it's true, you do not disappoint me. You do not disappoint me at all. This product is quite possibly, exactly as you have said, the best Artemisia product I've ever tried. I think the funniest part with this is that I had, I have this entire video talking about Artemisia, specifically Artemisia vulgaris, as well as Artemisia princeps. This is Artemisia annua, a different species under the same genus of Artemisia. And not just that, it's not just a different species, it is also double fermented. See, anytime you ferment ingredients, you're actually making them uh, more bioavailable to your skin, so you can potentially get more from whatever you fermented. Now, in the case of Artemisia, as we talked about, there are potentially benefits in terms of hydration and soothing and calming and redness. And that whole redness angle, I felt like I, I never saw any relief from redness with the prior Artemisia products I've been trying. This one, however, I am exceedingly pleased. It's like I, I finally am getting a, a, a look into what Artemisia in its fermented form can do for my skin. And I mean, talk about a simple, incredibly simple ingredients list. It is, it is just Artemisia extract, but what's nice is if you look at the US ingredients list, you can see what that extract contains. But what an interesting contrast to what I was just saying about the Pyung Kang Yule, where I was kind of feeling a little underwhelmed by it, just feeling like I want more. With this one, you actually have an even shorter ingredients list, and yet I'm blown away by it. Why would that be? Well, potentially because maybe this Artemisia annua plant has constituents in it that are really beneficial for my skin type. I, I truly suspect that's what's going on. I absolutely love it. Thank you all so much for recommending it. Now for some bad news, for some bad news. This is discontinued. It is now discontinued. That's good in some ways. You can go get it for 50% off, but yes, it will be a limited supply. And this right here is why I don't talk about Misha more. I feel like this happens every single time I buy a Misha product. It gets discontinued or reformulated. And I don't know as of right now if it is being reformulated or not, but why? Why? It seems, it seems literally perfect. Why, Misha? Let's go ahead and move on. The next product we're gonna use is from Rovectin. This is the Sika Care Clearing Ampoule. I wanted this from the day it released. I saw they had sent out an email to me that said it's a, a new product, an ampoule that contains calamine, which is an ingredient that is also found in products like Mario Badescu's drying lotion. It's another ingredient that has typically gone really well for my skin. But it was $29 and unlike these $13 products, I don't know, it's just a little bit harder to commit to. I almost bought it on the Style Korean website. It almost made it to the very last haul that you all saw. I had everything in my Style Korean cart and I was thinking, you know, I need to double check other retailers and just, you know, make sure that I'm getting the lowest price on this one. I don't wanna pay more than the price that I can pay. 29 on Rovectin site, it was around 20 on Style Korean. $12, $12 and something like 99 cents on the YesStyle website. So that's where I bought it from. I keep checking the YesStyle website thinking that it must be some kind of a glitch, but maybe it's not because it's still that price point, still better than, it's better than Style Vana's price point, okay? I don't know how they're doing it. Anyway, let's get to applying this. So this is an ampoule, which is probably closest to a serum. I've noticed that sometimes these are shockingly watery. So for example, the Skin 1004 ampoules are quite watery, whereas this one has more of a serum type of consistency, but it sinks into your skin really rapidly. Now the point of this product is to soothe irritated skin. Hello, people like myself with acne, that is music to our ears. 
So it's gonna be ideal for any kind of inflammation, be that from acne or something else. In terms of ingredients, this has over 73% Sika, has some niacinamide, has the active constituents of Sika as well. That's the Medecasicide and Asiatic Acid ingredients. I'm pleased with it so far. I do suspect it's probably not quite as high in the calamine ingredient. That's probably good. I think that I think calamine is another one of those ingredients where some amount of people do have allergies, whereas for other people it works great. So definitely some things to keep in mind, but I'm pleased with it so far. Rovectin typically goes really well for my skin. So then let's move on to this Peslo product. This is called the Noni Sika Soothing Serum. Does anybody else remember when Noni had a real moment in the US? Everyone was drinking noni juice. Am I dating myself too much? I might be, I might be. Anyway, the point of this serum, which I love the packaging, it's short and wide. I feel like I won't knock it over as easily. Anyway, it's another serum that is intended for soothing your skin, calming your skin. This one lo looks like it's the exact same consistency as the Rovectin that I just applied, but it feels a little bit more uh, heavier on the skin. Maybe that's not the right word. It's not too heavy, but you, it lingers. It doesn't absorb as quickly. There we go. It doesn't absorb as quickly. And while it doesn't have any added fragrance, I will say it does have a lot more of a smell to it. It kind of has a bit of an herbal smell. But in terms of ingredients, this one is actually really fascinating to me. So we'll take a look at this together. 40% of that Sika ingredient and 40% of the Noni ingredient. And then we also have some Panthenol. We have quite a few plant extracts in here. And check out the number of ceramides in this formula, as well as, again, Asiatic Acid, Asiatic Acid, and Medecasicide, and Medecasic Acid. I kind of feel like this product has a very much of a higher end feel. It feels a lot more expensive than it actually is. Now do keep in mind with all of these plant ingredients, you are gonna wanna carefully look at this formula if you do have any kind of sensitivities. But I'm really excited about trying this. This is a, a new release, so I've only tried it a couple of times so far, but excited to stick with this one. I think this is gonna be really nice for soothing my skin. And again, you know that's exactly what I look for. I've talked about this before with Peslo, but they also do this on their body boxes, which I really appreciate, so you can just real quickly and easily see what they are highlighting in the formula. Again, I did get this complimentary through the Yes Style Influencers program, so I also do have my own little rewards code. And by the way, one more time, if you also are a content creator, I would highly advise you at least consider joining the Yes Style Influencers program. It's fantastic. You get to pick a free product every month. You can cash out your commissions or you can just do what I do and spend them every month on more products. <laughs> Let's move on. I wanna use some eye patches today. The Farmstay Collagen Waterful Hydrogel Eye Patch. I talk all the time about the Farmstay Eye Serum from this same collection. So I did correctly guess that I would love these eye patches. They are super jelly-like and just really cooling to your under eye area, deeply hydrating. I Yeah, I really like these and they're super inexpensive as well. All of the Farmstay eye products are. I think the best price I saw on these was on the iHerb website. If you enjoy shopping there, under $10, under $10. Now I should point out that this is the only product in this video that does have added fragrance. It also has some ingredients that won't work for everyone. Tea tree leaf water, eucalyptus. Again, I'm never sure why these are in eye products. I do think it's a good idea to keep eye care as simple as possible. And yet, I don't really break out around my eyes. So all of these kind of products also work well for me. It's a, it's a mystery of the universe. Yo, we got some time while I leave these on my under eye area. How are you all doing? Are you all ready for Hocus Pocus 2? Do you know it's coming soon? I believe the date is September 30th. Oh, I cannot wait. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Who's your favorite Sanderson sister? Mine is unquestionably Mary. I love her so much. A vacuum cleaner, I love her. Mary Sanderson and I also share the uh, same way in which we view television programming. 
Y'all, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so ready for Halloween, actually. I'm so ready for Halloween. Is it too early, do you think, to put out Halloween decorations? I'm going to go with no. I think that would, again, encourage slightly cooler weather and fun costuming. All right, so anyway, that's done. Let's go ahead and take these off. I feel like they surprisingly stay in place very well. So let's move on. I want to share with you my thoughts on this Jumiso. Have a good cream, snail, and centella, which I think I hauled this in, oh, my Urban Outfitters video. Yeah, I actually got an amazing deal on this through Urban Outfitters. So this is now in a tube form, apparently. It used to come in a pot, and it's a bit of a, a lighter moisturizer. I thought this might be quite nice in the summer months where I don't want something too heavy, and it has indeed been nice for that. Um, that's it. <laughs> Again, it kind of is falling where the Pyeongkang Yule did for me. It's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's one where... I probably won't repurchase this. I really think, you know, I found my holy grail in snail products, and it's just a product that is primarily snail mucin. You all know. It's the COSRX 96 for me. Yeah, I think that uh, probably much like I was talking about with the Misha Essence, it's just that there are certain ingredients where just give me as much of that as you can. It, it works really well for me. I will note it does have a little bit of cedar essential oil in it, which does give it you know, a little bit of a smell. Nonetheless, I appreciate that they disclose the scent ingredients in this. And it does also have some of those, again, the active constituents of Sika. All right, we're about done with this morning routine, but I'm going to end with the Lab Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Sun Essence SPF 50 PA++++. This is actually going to be the first time I try this because I've been so busy with doing the Summer Fridays. That video will finally be coming next week. By the way, I actually got the new Summer Friday skin tint, the brand new one in PR. Let me know if you want me to include that in my review of the sunscreen. I feel like this video today has now two quite underrated brands featured in it. The uh, Peslo that we talked about earlier and also this, the Lab by Blanc Du. Sorry if I'm putting an accent on that. But yeah, I've really liked the products I've tried from this brand. They don't get anywhere near as much attention as they deserve, again, in my opinion. And this is an all chemical filters sunscreen, all the chemical filters that work out so nicely for my skin. Wish we were allowed to have them in the US without needing to import sunscreens, but alas, here we are. Ugh, oh, look at that, it's just so easy. <laughs> it's so easy to work with these Korean sunscreens, it really is. Well, my friends, that's it for today's AM Skincare Routine. Just wanted to end out this video by saying, remember, if you're interested in this, go get it now while you can. Sorry if I'm the bearer of bad news. Remember, there are links to the products in the description box below, and I also have some discount codes to different Korean retailers if you are interested in making a purchase. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please do me a favor and make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all next time.